All right, everyone, the Lord is really speaking out in 2013. Here we are at the end of September, it's September 27th, as I make this video, 2013. Now, I'm going to put the link to the article that I'm about to read to you in the description box below. Now, there are three people that have, uh, I guess they don't know one another, have had the same word from Yahweh, a word from the Lord of an event to take place in October. Now, a lot of times you'll have prophecies given on YouTube especially, and they will give a month like April, but then when the time passes and the event didn't take place, everyone that follow these prophecies will scurry for an answer and they'll come up with well he or she didn't say what year well this time Yahweh our Heavenly Father has given a date of October 3rd for this event to happen now we are fast approaching only a few days away October this time has not come and passed yet so as a watchman on the wall I'm presenting the information for the church to use as your discernment. But if October 3rd comes and goes uh, with no cataclysmic event, I just want you to search the scriptures. I'm not going to put the scripture in your face. What does the living word say regarding a prophecy that was given that did not come to pass? Let me present this article. 9.7 earthquake coming to West Coast on October 3rd, 2013. And I will put the link below. Three. Three independent sources have recently claimed the Lord told them. I hear that a lot. The Lord is very busy. I don't know how he has time, Yahweh, to uh, prepare for the rapture of the church and for end time prophecy to be fulfilled because he's just he's just talking and talking and talking um, to all of his children uh, and giving them warnings when we find in the book of Revelation to not add to the prophecies of this book. The prophecies have already been spoken. But let me continue on. Three independent sources have recently claimed the Lord told them a large earthquake is going to hit the west coast of the United States on Thursday, October 3rd, 2013. Now hold on before you pack up, before you get the kids in the car and you just leave your furniture and everything behind. If you live in this area, in the west coast, uh, wait till after the video. Because, you know, the Lord has been speaking to a lot of people especially on YouTube, and then they put it and post it on Facebook for since 2011, longer. And uh, putting out warnings, they're having a dream, a vision. The Lord spoke to them, but none of this has ever come to pass. Have you noticed that? It's just kind of like a trend. So don't pack up the dog and the cat and the kids yet. Not yet. All right, this is going to happen because the Lord said so. On Thursday, October 3rd, 2013. I wonder if this is the same Lord that spoke to Harold Camping. I don't know. Uh, two of these sources identified the earthquake will measure 9.7 on the Richter scale. That would make it the largest earthquake in recorded history. Since 1900, when earthquake records began, the largest earthquake was 53 years ago a 9.5 in Chile in 1960. That earthquake was also accompanied by a 38-foot tsunami. Oh, you're getting excited now, church. Which caused most of the casualties. The devastating earthquake and tsunami that destroyed northeastern Japan in 2011 was a 9.0 on the Richter scale. We know that well. There have only been five earthquakes in history measuring 9.0 or higher. So, it's very rare. Now, three 
uh, separate people had to work from the Lord. But on the West Coast, uh, it's going to get hit with a 9.7 uh, earthquake on October 3rd. All right. It is also rare for the Lord to give people specific dates and Richter scale measurements. Now Yahweh is, I mean, he's got to be so busy with prophecy that is about to be fulfilled. The Antichrist to come on the world stage and the fall of Damascus and um, the tribulation to begin. But he finds time to now give measurements uh, on the Richter scale and to and to set a date. Yahweh is now a date setter. Alright. Usually people only see scenes from what is coming, but no dates. So to hear three independent sources all hearing the same date makes this all very unusual. I agree. According to these sources, the Golden Gate Bridge will be broken in half by the tsunami. Get your notebook out. Hold on. Let's write this down. We're gonna. Um, I'm still waiting for something to happen to Hoover Dam, but now the Golden Gate Bridge. Uh, let me write this down. It's gonna be broken in half. Hold on. Golden Gate Bridge broken in half. God said so. Okay. The remains of the bridge will be moved into a vertical position. The San Francisco Valley will be flooded with water. The following provides testimonies from each of these three sources. All three. They don't know each other. And they all have the same word from the Lord. They have YouTube channels. I hope they don't have the 777 uh, before or after their name. Because there's a lot of people on YouTube with that. And they all have the same word from the Lord. But they're all friends and they all make sure their stories match. Okay. I'll behave. I won't mention any of them. I won't mention um, Anna seven seven A E J and Lex Sister seven seven seven. I won't. I won't mention anybody. All right. Warning from Adam H. Adam H. posted the video shown below, and you'll have the article on his what? His YouTube page. Of course he did. The following is the transcript of his testimony. This video is about what my mom has been telling me for the last day and a half. She has been having dreams and visions about a large earthquake off the west coast of the United States. Uh, she has had something like this happen to her once before. It was right before the Japan earthquake and tsunami. But she forgot to tell anybody. So they didn't put a YouTube video out on that. Uh, she basically predicted... It was, uh, she basically predicted it. It was pretty intense. It was uh, about two days before the event. This one, though, she says she has seen numbers and dates and times. It is early October in the daytime, sometime in the morning on a Thursday. Uh, the warning we are hearing is a 9.7 earthquake on the West Coast. Adam was reluctant to give the exact date in the video, there he only identified the date as a Thursday in early October. However, in the comment section, oh, the dreaded comment section, on his YouTube page, he identified the date is Thursday, October 3rd, 2013. Oh, he said the earthquake will be off the west coast, which means it will likely create a very big tsunami. You'll have the YouTube video. Pastor Joel's warning. A second source was provided by Pastor Joel, and posted on Steve Quayle, of all people's website. His comments are as follows. I received a call from a sister in the Lord, Kelly, who was frightened at a vision she had recently seen. She saw the upcoming date as October 3rd, with the Golden Gate Bridge breaking in half and going vertical, a huge tsunami covering San Francisco, an earthquake 9.7. In the city and water flooding the valley, many souls perished. She felt compelled to warn people. Her fear came largely because she had seen a vision of the Boston Marathon bombing the night before it happened, but forgot to put it up on her YouTube channel. Well, now Kelly and uh, is it Adams? Um, 
Let me see. Mom? Yeah, Adam's mom. They don't know each other, but they have the same word from the Lord. All right. Uh -huh. Let me skip ahead. We got another one. Cindy Page said the Lord told her to be ready by the 275th day of this year, which is October 2nd, 2013, right around the corner, for an earthquake hitting California, since that will be her final chance to prepare. Um, the earthquake could hit by the next day, which is October 3rd, 2013. For more details regarding her testimony, now she put a video up. Please see my previous post, Cindy Page, California Earthquake, coming in October 2013. And then it goes on, he's going to give his um, comments about the whole thing. Brothers and sisters, now the Lord is giving, he's setting dates. What happens, brothers and sisters, and I will be back on October 4th and do a follow-up video. If this does not happen, I'm not saying, I'm not denouncing this. I'm a watchman on the wall, so I'm putting out the warning. But what if this does not come to pass? I want you to start to question. So many people are hearing a word from the Lord, a warning of a major cataclysmic event that's going to happen. Well, we're going to have uh, Hoover Dam is going to break. I mean, all, all these prophecies, all these people putting out YouTube videos, every day they have a word from the Lord. I want you to ask yourself, if this does not come to pass, I believe these people may be having a word. But is it from Yahweh? Leave me comments, everyone.